Namaste, this is Sampa Auntie. Today, I'm going to tell you a Hindi-English Christmas kahani. And stick around afterwards to review some Hindi words from the kahani. Once upon a time, there was an Amir Admi, a wealthy man named Nicholas. And he was very dayalu, very kind. He lived in a gaon, a village that had two sides. One side where all the Amir people lived, where all the wealthy people lived. And another side where those who were less fortunate lived. Ek din, one day, Nicholas went for Tahilna, for a walk. And he overheard some alase coming from a ghar. He overheard some voices coming from a home. He heard the avaz of a ladki. He heard the voice of a girl talking to her papa. And she sounded udas, sad. She said, Papa, what are we going to do? We don't have enough pesa to buy your dabai nor khana. We don't have enough money to buy your medicine nor food. He tried to comfort her. He said, Chinta mat karo biti. Sab kuch theek ho jayega. Don't worry, my daughter. Everything will be okay. Listening to this, the Dayalu Admi, the kind man, became Udas himself. He became sad. And then he got a vichar, an idea. He went back to his ghar and gathered some khanna and sonne ke sikke, some food and gold coins. But he didn't know what to put this saman in what to put these items in. So he went to his kamra, his room, to see if he had a thela, a bag. And then he noticed the mose that were hanging on the divar, the socks that were hanging on the wall. He took one and put the saman inside of it. And he walked back to their ghar and placed the moza in front of their darwaza, in front of their door, and he left. Agle din, the next day, seeing the saman, the father and daughter were completely shocked. They thought that this must be a chamatkar, a miracle from Bhagwan. The news of this chamatkar, the miracle, spread all across the gaon, all across the village. And uske baad, after that, the gaon's garib or zaruratmand, the village's poor and needy started placing a moza at the front of their ghar. It was a way to ask for madad, a way to ask for help. And Nicholas decided that he would help more log, more people. And he decided that he would not nirash anyone, not disappoint anyone. He gave moze full of khana, Kapri and pesa, food, clothes, and money to families that needed madad all over the gaon. The entire gaon was abhari, grateful, and also they just be interested in this mystery. Nobody knew where the moze were coming from. Nicholas never revealed who he was. He wasn't looking for praise or fame. He just wanted to help log, help people. Ek din ek ladki. One day a girl was walking to her ghar from school and she saw Nicholas putting the moza in front of someone's darwaza. She smiled at finding out who this Dayalu Admi was, who the kind man was. And she told everybody. One day, ek din, Nicholas was in the village enjoying the day in the town center. And a few minutes later, villagers came and thanked him and even bowed to him. And they called him Sant Nicholas, Saint Nicholas. And as you know, he later became known from Sant Nicholas to Santa Claus. And now you know where the tradition of the stocking came from. Now let's review some of the Hindi words we heard in this kahani. 
first is Kahani. Kahani is a story. Mosa is sock. Now there's another word in Hindi that some people say for sock, and that is jurav. So both are correct. So you can say either mosa or jurav. What about socks? More than one sock. Mose or jurabe. Gaon. Gaon is a village. Amir. Amir means wealthy. And maybe you even know of a boy named Amir. This is a common name for a boy, Amir. Admi. Admi means man. Dayalu. Dayalu means kind. So this is kind of like your favorite vegetable, probably. Alu, right? With a day in front. Dayalu is kind. Dahelna. Listen to how I say this one because it's a little tricky. Dahelna means to walk. One more time. Dahelna. Avaz. Avaz is voice. Ghar. Ghar means house as well as home. Now this is a tricky H word. So listen to how I say it. Ghar. I don't say gar. It's Ghar, because there's an H after that G that you have to pronounce. Ghar. Udas. Udas means sad. Ladki. Ladki is a girl. So if ladki is girl, can you guess what the word for boy is? Ladka. Ladka, ladki. Ladki, ladka. Dawai. Dawai is medicine. Khana. Khana is food. This is another tricky H word, so I'm not saying kana. It's khana. Do you hear how I'm pronouncing that H after the K? Again, it's not kana. It's khana. Pesa. Pesa is money. Vichar. Vichar is idea. Sone ke sikke are gold coins. Divar is wall. Kamra, room. Pella, pella is sack. Saman, saman are items. Darwaza is door. Jamatkar. Jamatkar is miracle. Garib. Garib is poor. Madad is help. Log. Log is people. Rehasya. Let's say that one again. Rehasya is a mystery. Rehasya is a mystery. Great work. Now you know lots more Hindi words. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Dhaniabad for joining me.